John Shally, who played Boise in the sitcom Only Fools and Horses, died at the age of 79 after a long battle with cancer, leaving his entire six-figure fortune to his fourth wife Carol. Just over a year since the actor's death, it has been revealed that John Shally left his £469,000 fortune to his wife, Carol Shally. The actor, who also featured in BBC spin-off The Green Green Grass, died peacefully at home after he secretly lived with cancer for two years before it became public knowledge. John quickly became unfit to perform on his UK tour, and on September 19, passed away. As well as leaving his wife his entire fortune, John also asked that donations be made in his memory to chosen animal charities, including Quan Wildlife Rescue, Tusk or the British Hedgehog Preservation Society. Carol was John's fourth wife, whom he tied the knot with back in 1995. Having had no children with any of his wives, John was previously married to his first wife Carol Robertson. Then to actresses Debbie Arnold and Sabina Franklin. Estimates from The Sun put the sum of John's estate at £497,000, and after his affairs were settled, the remainder went to his fourth wife. Only Fools and Horses made up for the majority of John's notoriety, but the actor also went on to star in ITV sitcom Benidorm from its seventh series onwards, as well as Open All Hours, and My Family. He was also a well-established stage actor. Making appearances for both the Royal Shakespeare Company and the National Theatre. His influence in the entertainment industry meant that many were devastated by the news of his death. In a statement announcing the actor's death, his loved ones wrote, It is with heavy hearts that we bring you such sad news. Our dear friend and yours, John Shally, has died peacefully in his sleep, after a long battle with cancer. He will always be loved for being Boise and leaves a great legacy of work that will continue to bring pleasure and smiles for many years to come. Please respect the privacy of John's family and friends at this difficult time, and be assured that in the future there will be an occasion to celebrate John's life, when everyone will be welcome to come along.